We can now go to uh, speak to Almina Ahmed, one, a BBC producer who um, is at uh, Fortnum Masons, which is uh, in the Piccadilly area, of course. Uh, and uh, Almina, tell us what you've been seeing there. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can we you tell can. us what you've seen? Yes, I'm in the middle of Fortnum and Masons. There are about two to three hundred protesters who all stormed into the shop at the same time. Um, the shop is basically shut down. There are a lot of police. Um, police have all sealed off all the exits. Um, there's been a lot of chanting. Um, quite a few of the items around me have been uh, lost products are on the, uh, on the floor. Um, the shop's in a bit of a mess. Um, there's currently a person speaking on a loud speaker, and he said the police have asked them to leave. Um, which they refuse. Now, many of them are now sat down, staging a kissing. Um, there is no intention for them to leave at the moment. Um, they are just talking about what they're going to do. Uh, some of them have even opened up their lunches, and uh, I think they're going to be here for a while. There are lots of the UK uncut banners and uh, all around the shop, they stuck sticky tape to all of the shelves and all of the products uh, UK, staying closed by UK. Um, I'm not sure security out there seem to be doing much, neither do the police, so they're, they're, they're carrying on as well. How many police have turned up at the shop? Well, um, I'm just walking around. Uh, I can see, gosh, there are at least 20. All the exits have been sealed off, so um, they're not letting anyone in, and they're not letting anyone out. The shop must feel that it's been overwhelmed with that number of people yeah. coming <laughs> in. Staff, uh, staff look shocked. Um, obviously, all business has been suspended, but nobody seems to be doing in terms of the staff of the police. They're all sort of standing. I think probably deciding what they can do because the protesters are not uh, are not leaving like they've been asked. What about other customers? Are, are they still inside? Uh, I can I can see a few. Just hold on. I'm just uh, I'm on the ground floor and I can't see any. Yes, there are some customers and they're they're sort of taking pictures and look a bit amused. I don't think they really. They're just trying to take in what's happened, really. Yes, because it's a very sort of genteel atmosphere, a place that you can go for sort of English high tea. Uh, it's not the, uh, the spectacle that you would expect to see. Uh, Absolutely, uh, which, is, which is probably why UK and Cut targeted them. It was a secret location, nobody knew about it. So uh, I think that's why they did it, for, for maximum publicity again. Now, some of these, uh, the people belonging to these groups were at the Ritz Hotel, which is just uh, slightly further west on Piccadilly. Right. Uh, have they explained why they've targeted Fortnum and Mason? Yes, I mean, they were, uh, a lot of the chants were about pay your tax cuts, but I think, like, exactly like you said, it's, it's, it's a genteel shop, it, it's sort of... Uh, personifies exactly what they're trying to uh, to protest against. I think they, it's, it's a big name. It's unexpected. I think everyone was looking towards Oxford Street, um, especially Top Shop, but I think they just wanted to try a big name and get maximum, maximum exposure. Well, they're certainly managing to do that. Is there any sign of more police or secur security coming? Yes, there's more police entering the... Uh, uh, the exits as we speak now, but um, you know, I, I'm inside, I've got my camera, and no one seems to be stopping me yet. So um, I'm going to stay as long <laughs> as they, they, they let me, I guess. Some very elaborate displays often inside Fortnum and Mason. It sells luxury goods on the ground floor, um, luxury food items mostly, I seem to recall. Um, how much damage have they caused? Well, uh, like I was saying, uh, around many of these, um, there's a beautiful, I'm just stood in front of this beautiful wedding cake stand, beautiful, lots of wedding cakes, and a glass cabinet, and all around the cabinet is this ticker tape um, saying, closed by UK and cut. So they're using their, uh, their, 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 their tape and, and, and banners, and they're just sort of, uh, uh, no, 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 no sort of violent damage.
message. You're not trashing, trashing everything, but they're just sticking their, their banners and their uh, uh, UK and cut stickers everywhere. I mean, just to explain how you came to be inside the store. Did you see them making their way in there and follow them? Well, I was. Uh, we've been involved. Um, we've been talking to UK and cut. Uh, for quite a while, um, trying to get an idea of where their location was, and I just picked up that, that maybe it would be around this area. So I just popped into Portland and Mason, and then a couple of <laughs> a couple of minutes later, it all sort of kicked off. So um, I'm now inside, uh, and I'm not being allowed out.